Okay. Hello guys, so I'll be sharing with you how I cut and made this bustier. Unfortunately, I really don't like bone in any form it comes, so I really didn't put bone in this one. So just bear with maybe in a future tutorial we'll be doing um other outfits that will require the bone but black bustier. Uh, how are you doing welcome to my channel my name is Taha Tebelema if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for your time and if this is your first time of coming across my channel you are so very welcome it's really nice to have you here and I would love for you to be a part of the family so please hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video so today guys I'm going to be sharing with us how to draft your bustier pattern and of course the foundation for that is going it's supposed to be the body's block or the blouse block so because it's going to go below my waist i'm going to be that i have my hip line drawn here so for so for a start this is so i have a video on the body's block so uh, maybe you could refer to that in case you do have any question but then again of course you can leave it in the comment section i'll see what i will do about that so for now we're going to start we already have our basic line which is our bust point our under butt, our waist and our hip line so the first thing we are going to do is to get our upper chest line so the upper chest line is uh, of course diagonal to your armholes so but for me and it's supposed to be where the arc of your bust starts from so for me it's like um three and a half but when i'm doing a bustier i like to go with four so that that is so that I know that especially when I'm doing a sweetheart because this is going to be a sweetheart bustier I try to go before so that I ensure that my cleavage does not come out in a way that I do not like so the first thing we are going to do is to get our um, that's which is our bust band so mine is three And when we have gotten that the next thing we are going to do is to get the middle of our shoulder which here is three and a half so the middle is going to be like um one three quarter so you connect that to your bust point then the next thing my upper chest measurement is my upper chest is three and a half but i am going to be using because that's where the arc of my bust actually started from and that's where you actually take your across chest measurement sweetheart i'm going to be taking it down by two inches so now the next thing is we are going to get our that this is my under bust and of course this is my bust point so for the under bust i'm going to be taking one half inch on this side and one inch on this side so i'm going to do that down to the waist that the bust act to really come out then i'm still going to take one and a half out up here also and one and a half one and a half it's like um take what i have on both sides so the next thing i'm going to do from the bust point we're going to take bust measurement plus one inch to in our arms and after that i will take my waist measurement add this one and half inch that i took for the dart and one inch to in our arms then now the next thing is the length now for my um if i was to take four here it will end directly under my i don't know what they call this bone you know this one that is at your abdomen at the beginning of your leg then that's where the bustier is going to end so and of course i don't want it to come down so much so what i'm going to do i'm just going to take five inches from my waist down that is where i kind of like my bustier to end that is the hem so what i'll do so that place my measurement is um 31 there so I first of all I'll measure what the dart is the dart is half and i think one line that kind of thing so i'll just take the measurement of that place 31 
add the dart measurement then one inch for soy so we have that measurement that's my abdomen measurement my lowest measurement that's the measurement I took here probably just take this maybe like half inch below my armhole bottom all so I really don't like it to just be straight 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 so I'll just take it up one inch okay hey Bill. close half inch so we have our back piece so we're going to do the same thing with the back Now to ensure that it doesn't, the back doesn't like, your chest area doesn't give in any way, I kind of still leave this one at half inch. Understand? Because usually, of course, it will just end here, but I feel that like any excess at all will be handled by this one. I still just leave it straight like this. this well if you want it to be straight of course it can be straight but usually it's just either you curve it or you make it like a triangular line that kind of thing just make it straight down but I think I prefer this one okay. center front, side front, but of course looking at the shape like this you know that it's the side front side back, center back center back side back center front side front so all i need to do now is to carry it and put on my fabric so here i have my hair stay my fabric and my lining and then for the bust area i like to put um wording or the ready-made breast cup so just put it on the fabric and then i'll cut it out so I've cut out everything, cut plus the line. Remember, I cut it exactly the same way, and then so what I'll do, I'll go and join it and come and show to you guys. 
Okay guys, so I have joined the pieces together. So this is what it actually looks like. This is, you know, it's a sweetheart neckline and this is what it looks like and this is the bust. So as against putting, so this bust area, at least for it to come up and stand properly, as against putting this ready-made breast cup, I put the wording and I, of course I put the wording on the lining. So this is what it actually looks like. I've torn, I've equally fixed my zip. So if I were to zip it up, this is what this bustier comes out looking like. Of course I didn't put boning, I just didn't want to bother with the boning. So but everything should be okay when I try it on for you guys to see. So what I did, so when I turned this down, the way I can turn it, so in order to enable me to turn it, I left somewhere open by the side. So I'll just go in and after sewing this hem together, I'll turn it out from this place. Then I would either top stitch this with hand needle or I can just put it together like this under a machine and stitch it together. So I will go and finish it up and show you what the final work look looks like. So guys, this is the finished bustier. This is the back. And this is the front, guys. This is what it looks like. I don't know which way is right, but this is what it looks like. So, like I told you guys with the turning I turned it from this place this is where I turned it from so I now held it together and top stitched it so this is what it like so I would go and work for you guys so guys kindly give the video a thumbs up if you found any value and if you are yet to subscribe please subscribe and see you on the next video bye